When I see that arm come up, I jam into it with a shoot though. First, again, hands up. If my hands are down, I get him rocked and there's nothing I can do about it. Block, bow she can, crush the face. to have his arm up just like a front brake ball. Prevent him from actually slamming. Step, kick, go, step, go. Hey guys, Sensei George here. Today, we're using a technique from Kotaru, and this time, we're gonna be using our heads. Ninja. So, the technique that we're gonna be doing is called Hosoku, which means to capture and drop the opponent, or to capture and approach, yeah? So, the technique is really cool, short, sweet, and simple. Kotaru, always, you know, hard from the start. It's uh, normally a three pattern uh, in the first scroll, where it's Okay, I did that so you guys can hear it. It's a when we have that technique and it comes together, you'll be moving in that same fashion of one, two, three. And that'll set up what we do from the kata. Okay? So, Kevin's gonna be working with me today. Bow first. get <laughs> So in this technique here, he's coming in with a lapel grab. I wanna cover this, okay? Very important reason. We're gonna swap sides real quick. Uh, when he comes in for this grab, I need to cover this, okay? Reason being is because if he goes to punch me in the face from here, and I have to try and block, too late. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. There have been scientific studies on this point now. Just having your hands up like this, you can parry, you can block, you can come in and you can strike. Have your hands up. So cover the, the grabbing arm so when the punch comes in, you can, you can jam it, okay? With this being Kotoru, it's not that much of a retreating school. We're not trying to get away so much. I have my hands up and when I see that arm come up, I jam into it with a shuto or a punch, okay? So from that posture here, striking in, I cover the back of the tricep a little to prevent him from running away. I use my right hand, I deliver a boshi cannon to his koe. This drops his head, and from here, I lean forward and I do a headbutt. So when you're doing the headbutt, make sure to actually use the front part of your skull where it's the hardest. And you're coming in, not at his skull, because that's stupid, we're not rams. I come in for the sweet spot of his nose, between uh, the top of his nose and his philtrum. And I come in with my neck nice and strong and tight. Headbutt, using that part together. I don't whip my head back and forth. If you whip your head back and forth, or whip your hair back and forth, Jada Smith, uh, you will actually be more likely to give yourself a concussion. Okay, so this technique, when it's done correctly, is cover, block, boshikin, crush the face with that proper headbutt. From here, with the cripple of the uh, koei and this headbutt all together, that has the potential of knocking your opponent down. Driving down in the headbutt, because this uh, is actually gonna throw their face back from the pain and crumple the koei to cause them to fall, okay? When I'm not actually hitting the, the uh, nose, it's not getting their head back with the push, they're not as likely to fall down. So, just to show that to you together. Oh, hey! So, his head's still up because he's making eye contact with me. A very important part of this kata is to maintain eye contact. And while I'm looking at him square in the face, I come in with that uh, to the headbutt and drive. And that's the technique. So it's very effective. You can use it in a lot of close quarter combat situations. This is why I like it. And uh, the most important key points about this is, A, make sure you have a tight neck and you're not whipping your head into the opponent you're using the correct part of your skull where it's the hardest towards the part of his face where it's the softest. And you're dropping him down to your level. This was very interesting to do because uh, I actually had to teach some taller students about what to do as well. So I'm going to cover that as well. And I'm going to act like, you know, I'm a lot shorter than Kevin and what to do. Uh, or uh, I'm taller than Kevin and I have to like bring him to the proper level to deliver a headbutt, okay? Because if this is just going through the scrolls, you can do different techniques. But the principle of the technique is the same. So say I was taller than Kevin, Kevin comes in to do this and strike. Now, if Kevin's lower than me, so just go down to a wide stance, okay? Kevin's lower than me and I headbutt and I go like this, it's uh, not very effective for me. So what I have to keep in mind is I need to bring him to my level, which means that I need to get a little bit lower than him sometimes. So when I get here and I hit this boshikin, when I do the boshikin, I'm gonna drop my hips, which gets me even lower than him, so the headbutt comes out easier, okay? So I need to spread my base so that I can headbutt him effectively. If it's too, 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 too low for you guys to do anything, just drop an elbow. Do something that's a lot more effective for you guys. Don't get all the way down here just to headbutt a midget and then have them actually just run forward and tackle you. We're not fighting gnomes out here, but if you are, call me. You think you can stop us, boy? You have no idea what we're capable of. The gnomes are a powerful race. Do not trifle with the... Ah! I want to know about that. Yeah. So, make sure you jam the punch, because it's Kotoru. You come into him. Strong Boshikin. 
drop him to the proper level, maintain eye contact, bash his face in. This is going to knock his head back. So as his head goes back and you hit this part and it's grounded and he can't step, this is what knocks him down and you can go on from there. So now let's take it to the streets. Okay guys, so now we're going to go about bringing the kata to the streets. So we're going to cover two instances, dealing with someone pressing up against a wall and then also dealing with someone grabbing us in kamuch or a clinch like fight style. So in this situation here, uh, we got into a confrontation and I managed to be close enough to a wall. Guy comes up, pushes onto the chest and that's it. First, again, hands up. If my hands were down, I get him rocked and there's nothing I can do about it. Hands up. I can at least cover and make decisions from here. So I cover and then when that first punch comes out, I can try to shoot though into it again. Okay? So cover, shoot though. From the shoot though, I cut the tricep. From here, okay? This is where it's a very important lesson on this side. Is that my Boshikin does the same thing. If I can hit him, bring him down and headbutt, perfect okay but what if this guy has really long arms so go ahead and lock your arm out and he's really far away and Bojikin's not happening guess what we're not out of luck god graced us with something called legs so i still hook this tricep because he's trying to punch me i bring this heel up i kick him into the legs he's down boom headbutt now my finish from this technique is he's gonna let go from that headbutt be in pain a little i scoop over hooking this and slam him directly into the wall with ganseki atosh yeah. So again, just going over this, cover, check, Boshikin, headbutt. Step in, raise his arm up, lock it to the back of your head, chop down, he's gonna hit the wall. And again, I book right up out of there. I'm not trying to continue this fight. So that's the uh, first one. Now, again, bringing it down, cover, hands up. You can cover your head and still come out with that shoot though, or just slide and trap the tricep. That's very important. Two, capture, Boshikin. He leans forward, headbutt, okay? From this posture here, notice that I use my back on the wall to brace myself for the headbutt because I couldn't step into him as much. I scoop up, set my right leg in. I'm gonna let go with my left, turn to my hip, and chop to the wall. This is gonna slam my opponent to the wall. Now, if you're training this with a, a uke, it's very important to remind them to use their other arm to brace your head. So just to show that on the other side. So from the grab, cover, strike. Boshikin, headbutt. When I come over this way, for him to protect himself, he needs to have this arm up just like a front brake fall to prevent him from accidentally slamming his head into the ground. So that's an important uh, thing that you guys have got to know for training. So that's against the wall. Now we're going to go into hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat like a clinch or, or kamooch. So we get into this posture where we're fighting together and we lock up, okay? This technique is still working. First things first, I'm not blocking a punch anymore, but I hook the back of the tricep still so he can't go nowhere. From this hand, what I'm going to do is then kick his leg out. You know, since I can't hit the bow, she can, and I'm keeping them uh, together. I kick that leg out. Now, okay, I can headbutt still from here because I hit him. So I cover it over. One, two. It's there. It's really good. Or we can go into my hinko that I love to do from this. It follows the procedure of hitting my opponent, or well, trapping him so he can't punch me, breaking his balance, so I can capture an angle of entry, either being a headbutt or something else. So I'm gonna give you two more options. That's elbow and then makikomi, okay? So from this posture, we meet up, we're fighting in there. I kick the leg out from here. This hand's free. I splutter, I fly into an elbow and then I can hit once or two more times and get out of there. The other way is from here, kicking the leg out. And what I can do is still elbow, but into this hand, yeah? And I'm gonna get uh, looped over, makikomi over, and slam, okay? So showing that one a little bit more full speed for you guys. Now this time I'm not going to throw the elbow, but I'm just going to hook over straight into the makikomi. So we clinch up, set, kick, reach over, step, go. Okay, that's a lot of poundage, dropping them straight and swear onto his ribs. From here we have our lock that we can do. But again, street defense. I'm not trying to stay here with this guy. I hit, I move his arm over his head, I push up so he can't see me, and then I continue to get out of there. Okay, so that's bringing the cottage to the streets. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and thank you for watching. Domerigato gozaimashita.